All right, time now for better food. It's a popular appetizer at one local restaurant. Yes, it combines a crab salad with a Bloody mm. Mary, all in one mm. beautiful cup here. Yeah. Chris <laughs> Prosperi from Metro Beast Restaurant in Simsbury is showing us yeah. how to make it. Is this one of those popular things on your menu? The most popular. It's been on the menu almost since the day uh, since day one. Okay. Seriously. Right? Yeah, and it's got a weird story. So uh, my wife and I were having a brunch. You know how you do like yeah. a brunch on a Sunday because we're always closed on Sunday. And everyone gets a job, so mine is food, hers was booze. Now, Courtney, if you know her, she, her like she gets things done ahead of time and organized. So before we went to sleep, she had this spread. We were doing Bloody Marys. Beautiful spread on the, on the counter, right, ready to go. And I was going to make a crab salad. And I was like, I'll do it in the morning. Well, the alarm goes off. I don't hear it. She gets up, and she's doing anything. I wake up with not, people knocking on the door. So I freak. I gotta, because when people come to your party, right, to your brunch, yeah. you got to have a cocktail for them, and you have to have an appetizer for them. Yeah. So she's ready to go. I'm not. She goes down the stairs to let them in, and I run into the, run to the fridge, grab everything, and I see her beautiful setup, and I just move my crab salad, salad over to her bar with the Bloody Marys and married the two. So you ready to go? Yeah, so let's real show simple. us how to so do it. That's awesome. She had the glasses set up. I yeah. dumped my crab in it. Yeah. And then I took her, because she makes it in a shaker, right? So Bloody Mary, yeah. right? If you've never made it, it's a really simple recipe, right? I have never made a right. Bloody Mary. So tomato juice, okay. right? Okay. And then horseradish. And again, real depending on how much, yeah, depending on how much you like, we're going to make it really spicy because that's the way I like it. Okay. okay. Right? A little Dijon mustard, right? Okay. Black pepper and celery seed or celery salt. Okay. A pinch of sugar. Sugar. Yeah, just a pinch. Just okay. to like take the acid the out of the yeah, yeah, exactly. It has a little roughness. Mm. Some mm. lemon juice. Okay. Worcestershire, sire, sure, six, W sauce. <laughs> <laughs> right? Tabasco. And again, whatever you like. If you like it hot, if you don't, right? Don't use it. If you like it hot, whoa, if you like it whoa, hot. Whoa. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right? And then to make it a little different, because this is going to be a vinaigrette, all we do now is just add some olive oil, right? We put that in. Olive oil. We put our top on. Yeah. Right? Now, picture this. She thinks I've messed up. <laughs> Right? right? I don't have anything. Right. She's all set with her bar. People are coming in the door, and I'm doing this. I stole her. She had hurricane glasses, you know, the fancy ones. Yeah. Yeah. I had my crab in there. People were coming in, and I was like, okay, are we ready? Oh, wait, one more thing. Pickled onions, just to give it a little spice. Ready? Okay. So vinegar, and then a little more sugar. Vinegar. You let it sit for about an hour. Yeah. Right? Okay. And then it just, that's it. You don't even have to do anything. On okay. the counter and it pickles nice so and soft. Isn't that cool? Right? So that's just a little garnish. All right. So back to this, right? Yeah. So you shake it. Whoa. Whoa. That's okay. Can you get it? No. No, We're that's good. right. I did that that day too. You see? It's all coming it's back okay. to you now. Ready? Here we go. Yeah. Then you just top it off. Yeah. Right? Like that. Okay. Oh, see? Look at that. Right? Yeah. And then you put a little of the pickled onion on top. Right? And then, this is shredded filo dough or katafi. You get this at Middle Eastern stores. Okay. Right? Really simple. Okay. I, I just thought those were in, like the crunchy onions. Yeah, but no, that's... But, but a very nice crunchy garnish, okay. right? And then, we called this in, uh, in uh, college, we called it a floater. Okay. All right, so this is where the vodka comes in. I was wondering, like, does the vodka not go in? You don't want to put a lot of vodka in, right? So don't shake the vodka in the shaker. Yeah, and I don't, because if some people will say I like it without the vodka, right? Okay, yeah. And that's it, so go ahead. So I got one for each of you. Okay. Right, and then you tell me what you think. Oh, wait, Scott, I found this in the cabinet there, so that's a fancy one. You get a fancy one. Oh, look at that, a little fancy one. Very pretty. So what do you think? I'm trying to eat it delicately. Right? And it's an appetizer and a cocktail all in one. It's delicious. Right? Absolutely and I mean, delicious. Valentine's the Day is coming, of, right? Yeah, necessity is the mother of all necessity. Mm -hmm. All right, Metro Beast Restaurant is on Hop Meadow Street in Simsbury. For more information, check out the menus. Visit MetroBeast.com.